you and the question is when should we update stat statistics on SQL Server database and why <clears throat> well I have written down a few quick points just to answer this question uh, why uh, um, when we should update the stats number one query execution time is slow in any organization you will join the performance is a big hit so um, if your query is executing really slow it's gonna take time it's gonna bring down the uh, the performance so you don't you can't really afford that so when execution uh, query execution time is slow then you should consider updating the stats and the second uh, thing is insert operation took places on ascending and descending keys if you have a query that does a lot of sorting whether it's the ascending or descending and you have inserted uh, a lot of records in that particular table or in that particular um, uh, column then and that they are uh, in your query are being sorted then you should consider updating the stats one thing I do wanted to mention uh, before we get into too much detail of this um, the the query optimizer of SQL Server is really very smart starting from 2005 onward to 2014 it has improved a lot from uh, SQL Server 2012 and SQL and to SQL Server uh, 2014 so it does most of the operation for you however there are certain cases when you can actually update the stats and get a better execution plan from SQL Server so in that scenario uh, this question is uh, much more valid um, and the third is maintenance operation took place so maintenance operations such as you have a truncated lot of uh, data that was being used in mostly queries that you were running and uh, also the bulk operation that ha happened that you have inserted uh, via bulk um, you know insert a lot of records on, on a particular table and that's when we need to update the stats of that particular table so uh, now how we do update the stats you can use a uh, uh, SP update stats uh, you can uh, actually use management studio and look at the stats what what ha what the stats has been created and right click and update those you can update the stats on a particular table you can update the stats on entire uh, database you can uh, update the stats on particular column starting from actually uh, SQL Server 2012 and it goes in SQL Server 2014 as well now why the answer actually when you give the answer of all this that uh, uh, when we should update the statistics actually it answers itself that uh, you know performance is a big hit and um, uh, we create indexes and uh, the stats are used by indexes and index views and if the index you create the index and that index is not being used that is one of the reason this not being used because optimizer the stats that's being there uh, created for that particular index is not up to date and it's uh, it has lost its uh, 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 density now there are a lot more factors there's a lot more detail uh, about the stats so if you wanted to know more detail of the stats you need to uh, really I would recommend to read more on Microsoft website but um, uh, back behind the scene uh, they are created for index and index views and they pref uh, they enhance the performance or your of your query that's why you need to update the stats uh, not more frequently because it is really resource intensive so make sure that you do update the statistics more than default uh, but um, I would recommend in production uh, if you have a big database because recompile happens when you update the stats so if you have a big database I would recommend to do it on weekends on uh, not the peak hours if you have a database that's uh, uh, not really busy however it gets queried a lot during the daytime but um, you know in, in uh, evening in um, off time it's not uh, being used a lot then you can do it after three days so once a week on weekend update statistics is is recommended operation for big busy databases uh, in production uh, but you could do it after uh, after every other day for the uh, not really uh, a busy operation and and keep in mind that uh, 
when update stats happen a lot of sorting happen in te uh, uh, temp db so you don't want to uh, jack it up you don't want to jack temp db up so make sure that you you don't uh, uh, schedule update stats every hour every two hour some i have seen some of the folks doing it every five hours this is not recommended this is resource intensive so make sure that you understand uh, the stats uh, when you're in at your workplace but as far as interview goes uh, this should help you a lot and will save you a lot of follow-up questions because this is the question that can have a lot of follow-up questions so if you give the detailed answer uh, like I just I, I just described uh, then uh, you're more likely to save a lot of follow follow-up questions and I hope it helps